Denvax. Dendritic Cell Therapy. Dendritic cell therapy which is being produced is packed in the form of Denvex and this is the box where we uh, send this box to the patient's place. It contains dry eyes along with the Denvex. Uh, just open this box and show the contents of this. It has two vials which are to be infused to the patient at his bedside. It can be infused at any place. Now the issue is when dendritic cell therapy is to be given. Dendritic cell therapy is ideally to be given when patient is fit to receive dendritic cell therapy. Now the whole issue is when we say that the patient is fit, oncologists would not be able to tell th that the patient is ready to receive dendritic cell therapy because he has no experience about that in India. So it is all the more important for the patient to ask me directly either by sending an email or by contacting me on phone or by coming to our clinics various places which are located in Ahmedabad, Mumbai, Calcutta or Delhi and try to find out when it would be the ideal time to take dentic cell therapy. Because this ideal time should not go out of hand. The right time for the patient to contact me is when he knows about his cancer, that the cancer has come in. That is the right time. I will decide based on his reports what would be the good time for dentic cell therapy to begin with. I am not saying no to chemotherapy, surgery or radiation. But during this process also patient can receive immunotherapy. And the results are always good when you involve immunotherapy at a right time. It is very important that we should not be leaving things like this is the last resort, it has to come after 4-5 months, once conventional therapy is complete, then probably we may miss the golden period. We are not saying to stop any therapy, we are saying that we are going to mix the two therapies in between. There are various oncologists who don't know about immunotherapy and they will not be able to guide the patients also. So better asking me than asking them because they do their job, I do my job and the end result should be the betterment of the patient. The guarantee is based on our experience. I mean I could be wrong say in 5% patients but in 95% patients whatever we have been able to say to the patient we have achieved that thing. I am not saying we can, I mean, we can completely uh, make the patient like he has been before uh, you say cancer. But at times it happens and it happens in many, many number of patients. Because what we are doing is completing the treatment protocol. In conventional oncology, the treatment protocol is not complete. You are doing surgery, chemo and radiation, that is halfway treatment, immune system is left as such. So unless and until you revive the immune system, you will not be seeing the light of the day that you say that you are cured of the disease. It happens sometimes. But most of the patients will have relapse. And we are also trying to uh, tell you that sometimes oncologists mention on the prescription paper treatment to be given as a palliative treatment protocol. Palliative treatment protocol means we are not curing the disease, but patient does not know about that. Patient's family is not told about what they are writing. But they are legally correct. They will not be caught in any court of law because they have already written on the prescription paper that it is a, it is a palliative treatment protocol. So when a patient has been given an option of palliative treatment means he needs to find out some new alternatives that can save his life. And that alternative or that thing should be scientific in nature. What we are doing is perfectly science. We have seen that in stage 4 disease, when you do conventional treatment, 10% patient will live free of cancer. But if you are combining dendritic cell therapy, the percentage jumps to 30%. So out of 10 patients, now we are going to save 3. Otherwise, only one would be saved with conventional therapy in palliative treatment protocol. At the same time, if we are taking a patient of a disease which has come at complete remission, means the oncologist says that the CR has achieved. Complete remission means we have treated you, you are free of disease. In those patients, about more than 80% patients will have no relapse. So this is a big percentage. 
I mean when you have put a comma in front of a sentence, you have not put a full stop. With dendritic cell therapy, you are putting a full stop to cancer. I am trying to find out the ways to make more labs in India. And that lab could not be my lab. It could be the lab who, with a, of a doctor who would be trained in this field. So we are now opening up to train people because in hospitals, in medical colleges, in institutions, still dendritic cell therapy is too far. They are not teaching this subject. We have an experience of a decade. So we want to teach this technology to doctors and to spread it to technicians so that more centers would come in in India and we, we, we spread over. Dendrax. Dendritic cell therapy.